Announcement today from Nebraska Medicine. After nearly two decades, the hospital is bringing back its lung transplant program. It's a procedure doctors at Nebraska Medicine have not offered since 1998, forcing many patients to travel to other cities for those transplants. Reporter Emily Zink is live with reaction tonight. Emily. Well, Craig, like you said, patients used to have to travel to places like Minneapolis in Denver to receive a lung transplant. Now they get to stay right here at home. And for many patients having to go through the transplant process, getting to stay near friends and family makes a world of a difference. At six months old, Trent Alsman was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis. I've been with these doctors and these nurses and the staff for my entire life. For the past 28 years, Nebraska Medicine has been Alsman's second home. But a few weeks ago, he almost had to leave home. People travel all over the country to um, find the right transplanting institution for them. Alsman was about to go to Minneapolis for a lung transplant evaluation and when he received word that Nebraska Medicine was launching a lung transplant program. Being able to continue being here with those same people and it's yeah, hugely beneficial. The news is not only major for Alsman, but for other Nebraskans needing a lung transplant. And those people now have the opportunity to be evaluated here and potentially transplanted close to home where their family is available to support them. Andrea Mayberry knows how important it is to stay close to home for a transplant. Being close to family and kind of potentially still having that normal um, routine is very important to help you with emotionally and physically the aspect of transplant. Mayberry received her lung transplant 19 years ago at Nebraska Medicine before the hospital's old lung transplant program ended in 1998. And I always kept asking my doctor, when is it starting? When is it starting? Years later, Mayberry gets her wish and the lung transplant program is finally back at Nebraska Medicine. And I'm excited that they're, they're back to it and um, I hope they have good things coming. I know they do. The cool thing about Andrea Mayberry is not only was she a recipient of a lung transplant here at Nebraska Medicine more than a decade ago, she's also an employee of the Med Center, which makes the story even cooler. Live near 42nd and Farnham, Emily Zink came to be Action 3 News.